Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. So this video is I guess like the second of two videos. So um, a few days ago I did a community post over on the channel as well as putting out a tweet saying we are going to be having a look at two multi-game arcade cores. The first one we had a look at in the original video was the RM M72. I asked you guys what you think the next core is going to be. You guys chucked your guesses in there. Some of you got some of you guys got it right and said the RM M92, which I guess is a, a good guess, right? We've done M72 now, we're looking at M92. So give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, and also before we get further into this video, guys, remember everything you're seeing here is a work in progress. These cores are not publicly publicly available yet. When they do become publicly available i will definitely let you guys know on the channel also follow the developer of this core over on uh, social media over on twitter and you'll get updates when they actually release the core so uh, the rm 92 core just like the 72 core was orig originally developed by wicker wacker aka martin Don donlon for the mr fpga i've been enjoying enjoying it for some while it is superb and now it's being ported over just like the m72 by Marcus Jordan aka Boogerman so we can enjoy this on our analog pockets so guys before we get further into it if you're not subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like is super duper appreciated as is turning on those notification bells it really does help the channel and honestly it really doesn't cost anything right let's start having a look at the games so the first game we're going to look at is a game called Blade Master. Guys, well, this is Blade Master. It's your, it's a brawler, right? It's a walk along, beat everything up along the way. I guess we call it beat em ups. We all know that, right? Um, guys, this starts off okay. It's not, the first level's decent, right? It's not too difficult, but then the difficulty just ramps, ramps up. This will guzzle your coins. So just make sure you've got your finger on that select button. You're pumping in those coins and it is enjoyable. I like the specials in this you know the two button special that you've got i like the fact that you can attack enemies when they're down i don't know why there's something good about beat em ups when you can do that definitely try this out i like it i have enjoyed it it's not something i played in the arcade it's something that i kind of played on a mister i haven't completed it but now that these games i've got them on the pocket in in this work in progress build but once they're finalized and we've got all them it's a good reason to lay down in bed relax and just pump in those coins and complete some old arcade games right the next game guys is a game called dream soccer 94 dream soccer 94 like the name suggests is a soccer game as we like to call it over here in london uk it's football right and well it's football yeah you run around trying to get your ball in a net but guys i have to say i don't know where the referee is in this game because i went around chopping everyone down like i was an axe and the, the, the opposite team's player was a tree and i was chopping it down like a lumberjack with my axe referee nowhere to be seen i just had the free run for it um so guys you know if that's your kind of thing it is a decent football game i imagine it comes alive when you play it with uh, a human opponent because that's how football games are the most fun that's at least how i remember them being the most fun right next up guys is a game called gun force now gun force is good i like this game i like the style of it i like the art style I like the way you fire, I like the enemies. There's a lot to like about this game. It's a fun run and gun, similar to kind of like your Contra, Metal Sluggish kind of games. Now, some games that when, when you see the games in here, you'll be thinking to yourself, Neo Geo. From what I understand, because you guys educated me when I covered this on the Mister, because I kind of covered the core development from the first games that got made available up until the whole core, uh, every game on the core got released and a turbo version of the core. And you guys educated me and said, a lot of the people that worked on the RM M92 or worked for RM then went on to work for Neo Geo. And you can see that in some of the games. More so in the next game now, which is the sequel to Gun Force, which is Gun Force 2, also known as Geostorm. Guys, this game is just style. The way you start rock and roll, baby pack it up lock and load this game is brilliant the way you hold your guns the way one is straight one is at an angle it is just superbly fantastic guys you get into big <laughs> you get into big vehicles you get into helicopters and stuff you blow stuff up guys seriously this game is just action the bosses are big there's fire all over the place honestly like it just describes arcade games and more so than a lot of the games in here when you're actually playing it 
yeah, you'll be forgiven for thinking Neo Geo. It's just, it's just rock and roll, guys. The way you attack those, like, I don't know what they are, reptilian, biker, alien, mutant gangs, it's just wicked. Make sure you try this one out. I mean, in fact, try every game on this core out, but definitely try this one out, right? Okay, moving on to the next one, guys. We are, we're looking at a game called Hook. Right, that's, that's right. It's Captain Hook. It's Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. And guys, just the way Blade Master is, this is a beat em up. You walk along, you destroy everything in your path. Now, I like the interactive environments in this. There's chains up there. You hit the chains, a massive anchor falls down. There's other destructible stuff in the environment. You go around, you're attacking everything. And I also like the fact that you can attack the enemies when they're down. The special moves are good in this. And you can play this multiplayer right i really enjoy playing beat-em-ups with my kids i've done a whole bunch of the capcom ones i've done some of the konami ones okay i've not done vendetta with them i won't play that game with my kids however i've done teenage mutant ninja turtles i've done the simpsons with them and in fact i've got a live stream with my kids playing the simpsons i've also done stuff like cadillac and dinosaurs i've got that on stream as well so you know if you've got younger kids like my boys they like rocket league right but occasionally they'll come and play a beat-em-up with me so a hook would be a good contender for that especially if they've been watching like peter pan and stuff of recent right who doesn't like peter pan i like peter pan the disney cartoon growing up yeah i thought it was good okay next up guys we have a game called in the hunt guys this game is wicked for many this might be the favorite game on this core i absolutely fell in love with it when i played it it's a shmup but like most shmups, you're not flying, guys. You're underwater. You're a submarine. You've got one fire that goes horizontal. You go, you've go. got one that goes vertical up. Now, in order to fire out of the water, you need to come to the surface level of water where you can destroy the menaces that are above bothering you. Guys, this game is amazing. Now, on the mister, we had a turbo version of the core. When I played this with a turbo version of the core, guys, it's difficult. Sometimes the slowdown is good. The slowdown that was present in the actual hardware is present on the analog pocket version when you've got a lot of stuff happening on the screen a lot of fire aimed at you ready to destroy you guys you need that slowdown to survive um we don't have the option of a turbo core on the analog pocket yet i don't know if that's something that will be do doable or not i'm not the developer or i'm not the, you know i'm not one of the developers that either brought this over or is porting this over that's something that they would better know but amazing still to have this in this state definitely try it in the hunt it's one of the games many people talk about and when it's when it's released on mr guys everyone was like yes we can finally play it in the hunt and you know when i played it i knew what the fuss was about i did play it on emulation before never seen it or played it in the arcade but guys it's amazing to have this on fpga for us to enjoy right guys next game now is a game called lethal thunder also known as lethal blaster the version of the core I have running it on my analog pocket, unfortunately, I wasn't able to flip the screen. And well, my monitor is stuck in a way where I can move it around, but I can't rotate it. So work in progress. Remember, uh, I'm sure uh, Marcus Jordan will sort this out and he'll be able, you'll be able to rotate the display soon so you can run it on your TV however you kind of got it set out. So that's something to look forward to in the future. Well, just like everything else in the core. Then next up, Major Title 2. Major, Major Title 2 is a golf game. Unfortunately, it didn't boot up for me. It's the only game that didn't boot up at all. Um, golf games are relaxing, right? So when this does become working, if you had a hard day at work, hey, you know what? Let's play some golf on the PC. It is just chill time. And next up, guys, is a game called Mystic Riders. Guys, this game is really, really good, right? When I played this on the Mister, I didn't quite understand the mechanics, but filming it now and playing it for the analog pocket, I kind of worked it out a bit. Now, looking at it, you will get those cotton vibes, and I definitely get those cotton vibes from this. Now, you've got your normal fire, R-type style, you hold the button down, and you can charge your shot and fire it. What's really interesting is your broomstick that you've got, whichever way you're traveling in when you press your your button two, your broomstick goes in the opposite direction of your travel. This makes it very, very interesting. If you've got enemies behind you, you move forward and press button two, it will attack the enemies behind you. You move up, it will attack the enemies below, you know, and so on and so forth. It's a very, very good mechanic. It plays really, really well. It's got excellent enemies in there. The game's just fantastic. It's something, I guess you could call it partly a cute em up, but man, this game is no joke. It just plays really, really well. And there's like maze parts in here where you need to navigate your way around, which can get a little bit tough. And next up, guys, this may be, all right, if we took a vote of 
what is your favorite game on this core? I'm pretty sure Ninja Baseball Batman will win. The Japanese name is Yaku uh, Kakatu League Man. Guys, right, before I even tried this core or anything, I never saw this in the arcade. When going through like a list on MAME or Final Burn Neo, I saw a game called Ninja Baseball Batman. And I'm thinking, is this a game with the Gotham Knight? What has ninjas and baseball got to do with Batman? And guys, I tried it. And this game on emulation, it does have quite a lot of flaws, at least whatever emulator I was running. But even so, I enjoyed it in that state. When we, when I tried this on FPGA, guys, this game is fantastic. It's as wacky as you can get with a beat-em-up. You can play four players. You've got different characters in there. I like, like the long guy, right? That's my favorite guy in there. But it is wacky right your baseball players with baseball bats you're fighting giant balls you're fighting musical instruments i mean like one of the bosses right is a plane that's a lot bigger than you but you fight him you fight him while flying on an even bigger plane i think the actual core developer uh martin donlon this is his actual favorite game because when we spoke i think that's the one that stands out to him the most on this system but yeah guys this is a fantastic beat em up i remember before we got an fpj implementation of this like you know on the mister whenever i asked or i did a video and i said what are your most desired calls in the comments this title would always come up forget m92 as a system just ninja baseball batman and when this came out honestly the mister scene was absolutely buzzing and the analog pocket scene is gonna get like that very very soon right next game guys is a game called perfect soldiers also known as superior soldiers guys there's one way to one one word to describe this game one way to describe it this game is pure jank it is not a good beat em up there's nothing that great about it however i have to say i have a soft spot for janky and bad beat em ups i like the street fighter ex games i like ultra street fighter um, Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I like I play Mugen games because I like the characters that are in there. There's just something about sorry, I might have called them beat em ups. Remember I'll rewind. <laughs> Fighting games. It's a fighter. I've just got this old school mentality where a computer game magazine I used to read referred to Street Fighter as a beat em up and it's always stuck in my head. So this is a fighting game, just in case I said beat em up, because I'm gonna try not to edit that, right? So guys, it is janky. It is so janky. But you know what? If you're a fighting games fan, play this game guys just play it it is so do you know when a game is so bad it's actually fun to play it's set in the r-type universe from what i understand i've one cc this right but one cc'ing a fighting game is no big achievement right i mean who can't do the cps1 street fighters with one credit right you know to do something like r-type leo or in the hunt with one credit would is an achievement but guys try it out it's so bad it's good and definitely let me know what you guys think of it and okay next game guys this is definitely a super duper heavy hitter and this is our type leo now i became familiar with this when playing the fpj implementation of this because before that it was always our type one i played a little bit of our type two but guys this game is banging the soundtrack is amazing the power up i like how instead of getting a pod you get two little pods around you uh, you know above and below you now they kind of charge up when you press the second button they kind of fire out as a, as a, as a, i don't know like your your stronger weapon you then press the button again to call them back they charge up again and you rinse and repeat it's a very very good mechanic it's a very very fun mechanic our type leo is fantastic play it play it now oh sorry when it does come out play it if you've got a mister go play it now for the analog pocket honestly if you haven't played this it just plays fantastically well so it's something really really to look forward to guys and it's it might it might be someone's favorite game on this system it's difficult for me to say what my favorite game is because i like in the hunt i like our type leo i like mystic riders i like in the hunt there's games on here i even like perfect soldiers for as bad as it is guys so this is a wicked system our type leo is wow like seriously wow 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 that's how good it is and the soundtrack i'll say it again wow so darn relaxing okay so the final game here guys uh, that we're going to have a look at before uh, i kind of start start wrapping up the video is a game called undercover cops right this is a beat em up right walk along be everything but guys just like blade master even more so this gets difficult 
very very quickly you get a boss fight where you get punched you kind of fall down this kind of pit and a big thing kind of hits you uh from the top and that's you dead all your energy just gone it is a coin guzzler i definitely like the art style you can see that whoever worked on this went on to work for snk it is just apparent even a blind person will be able to see that i like like how the crows are eating like the corpses there and you see a skeleton there the art style is fantastic the game's fun but since we're not playing these in the arcade i've got no issues with adding extra credits all it is is a button press right and actually going through these games but how I played this in the arcade I know I would have been frustrated a lot by it because man it really does feel tough so that's it for this video guys you've looked at all the games on the RM92 everything you saw here was running on the analog pocket um I played everything I filmed everything myself uh, even down to the thumbnail images you see I generally try and only make my thumbnails from actual footage from the video so it's something fantastic it's something to look forward to honestly mad props to wicker wacker and boogerman the guys are just wicked i mean you know wicker wacker for developing the core boogerman for all, all the amazing port work he does i mean analog pocket is just coming along so so nicely we've got so many awesome developers so many awesome people in the fpj gaming space i hope it just gets bigger better and we get more cores we get more arcade ports something that i'm always looking forward to but honestly guys that wraps it up for the video like i said this isn't available yet when it does become available i'll make sure i let you guys know whether i do a community post another dedicated video the weekly news video i'm pretty much i try and be as active as i can but uh, guys that's really it for this video honestly i really do hope you enjoyed it be awesome to one another guys uh, if you're not subscribed then a subscription and a like is super duper appreciated Take care, this is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.